Welcome back. Today's topic is closely held corporation. A closely held corporation is actually a private corporation with the following condition. One has more than 50% of the value of its outstanding stock owned directly or indirectly by five or fewer individuals at any time during the last half of the tax year. And two. Is not a personal service corporation. A closely held corporation is often a family run corporation. The shareholder agreement describes how decisions are made, and the agreement places restrictions on the sale of stock. In a closely held corporation, all management decisions are made by the shareholders. Hence, in a closely held corporation, the shareholders are also the people who serve as the corporation's board of directors. In USA the IRS distinguishes between active participation and passive activities. If a shareholder just has stock in the business and doesn't serve on the board or work in management, that would be considered the passive activity. Stock associated with these companies are usually not traded publicly, or infrequently traded, rather the stock are issued to a small group of family members who operate the business as a privately held S corporation. The shares of a closely held company are known as closely held shares also called majority or controlling stockholders. However, to qualify as a publicly traded company with closely held status, a minimum number of shares must also be held by persons outside the business, such as members of the public at large. Since the majority shareholders rarely release any of their shares, this makes it difficult for an outside entity or corporation to attempt a hostile takeover as only a minority stake is regularly traded. This can provide a sense of stability because all decisions made on the behalf of the business are solely for the interest of the business itself. However this can also be a big issue with closely held corporations for investors. One cannot accurately determine the value of each share, because the shares aren't sold on the open market so frequently. The closely held corporation is set up the same way as a normal corporation. Further, there is minimal chance of money laundering in closely held corporations as they are mostly family businesses unless a criminal incorporates one. Thank you. Hope you all now have a fair idea about closely held corporation and you may now apply this knowledge to your day-to-day -day work. Have a nice day ahead. Stay tuned.